everyone watching to the audience viewing this, welcome to another Candid Conversation. I have with me Vinay Patak and Vivan Shah. You know them, you have loved them on screen. Yes, I have two legends with me. I have a theater legend and a cellulite star. So before I start this conversation, let me just say that Z Theatres brings its audience an upcoming classic tale of stories called Koi Baat Chale. And my very first question to both of y'all is what can we see in this upcoming series? What can you tell us about it? If it was up to me, I wouldn't tell you anything about it. <laughs> I would say, wait for it to Just start. It. Uh, yeah, get streaming and watch it because it's very, very exciting. It's really, really exciting. Even for somebody who has been a part of it for, you know, as many days that, that we took to prep it. Uh, I'm very, very thrilled and excited. That it's coming on air soon. It's it's a very it's a very unique uh, sort of form. The medium itself of the cine play has a wonderful tradition and a long tradition in both television and the cinema. And this is a wonderful synthesis of of both of those things. And and it's a it's 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 a really interesting way to document the theater and also to create a new performance style, a new art form for uh, these works to be communicated to a new audience, to the audience that, that that watches various things on the digital mediums. And I think it's very, I think it's a wonderful way of introducing uh, the audience to the works of Premchand, to the works of classic Hindi literature. There's stories, there's a story by Harishankar Pasai, and there's also stories by Manto. And so it's a wonderful, a wonderful uh, constellation of some of the greatest writers of our country ever. And I'm really intrigued to know what was both of your experience working with Seema, uh, such an incredible actor that she is, and now in the seat of a director. What was that experience like? Uh, awesome. I had, I've had a privilege of uh, working on, on, on a first film as well, Ram Prasad Ki Uh I've never worked in any of her theatre productions, but this uh, one was very much like uh, not exactly like the theatre experience, but the way we rehearsed and the way we prepped was very uh, how we would rehearse for a play. Uh, and then the way we shot was, again, a, a wonderful marriage of uh, stage and, and lens and cinema. Uh, and uh, it's great to spend time with Seema Ji, always, you know, even with work or without work. It's, it's always great fun. She's... She's amazing in everything that she does and I feel very, very fortunate, lucky and privileged. Really, really wonderful, wonderful experience. I cannot tell you how much I learned from working with Seema Ji. It was a truly, truly educa educative experience for me because uh, Seema Ji is a, a really, really uh, stimulating person to speak to and to hear her stories and to also hear her insights into these uh, pieces was fascinating. The way she really illuminated certain aspects of, of Gulli Randa, the piece that I'm doing, the way she uh, she taught me a lot, not just about uh, uh, not just about the work, but also about life, I think. I learned a lot about life also from Seema Ji because she brings her whole life experience and her wonderful art to the work. That's the most, I think that's one of the greatest aspects of Seema Ji as an artist, is that that uh, in all her works as an actor and as a director, there's a very specific and unique vision uh, at, at play. <clears throat> and I think that's one of the most, there's a very distinctive style and stamp that Seema Ji has on all of her works. And it was just such an honor and a privilege to one of her, her her works, you know, that's it's one of the it's been a dream of mine to work with her for so long, and I'm so glad that that dream came true this time. Well, I'm excited and incredibly intrigued to see the show now, but I do also want you to know. Recently, I was in a conversation with an author, and she told me that every generation needs an historian to tie our legacy, our past, with the present generation in a new way to, to a, in a way that the generation will enjoy it even more because we have such rich you know a rich past of great culture lit, literary culture and literary arts is so rich and so good that a lot of people miss out on it because it's not portrayed in a uh, in a way that will excite the youth do you feel the series that you are presenting to us now would be something in these lines that would be engaging the youth in great tales of the past 
yes i absolutely i think uh, it we were talking earlier about how at one point in the in the previous century uh, literature was one of the preeminent it was one of the most prominent uh, art forms and it's taken a backseat over the years as the visual mediums have taken over but i do hope that this inspires people to go back to literature and to and to also take up reading again i think that's a very important thing i think that's that would be a great success if if this if this uh, uh, p if these pieces manage to do that if they manage to convey an interest in literature and to stimulate the viewer to take up an interest in literature i think that would be one of our aims and then so do you feel that with the like series like such as these that people are going to enjoy having a different take a different taste exploring different genres once it gets more popular instead of just watching some mainstream romantic film or a, a mirch masala sort of a mainstream film in bollywood that we usually see do you feel that series such as this would intrigue the audience to develop a different kind of taste i hope so <laughs> first uh ki bhai humne ye साहित्य की कहानी कहने वाला जो प्रोग्राम बनाया है उसको देखेंगे आप तो आपकी दुनिया बदल जाएगी आपका माजी बदल जाएगा आपका इतिहास बदल जाएगा आपके सोचने का नजरिया भी बदल जाएगा इतनी ताकत है इसमें आई आई विश आई गुड सी थिंग्स लाइक दैट बट दैट्स नॉट हाउ इट वर्क्स पीपल कैन वॉच वे वॉन्ट टू वॉच यू नो बीट मसाला और बॉइल्ड हाउे लाइक इट्स दे चॉइस and uh, you know we need to respect that that's fine too having said that uh, storytelling like this is also very exciting and enthralling uh, for everybody you know people who are making it people who are involved in in telling the tale and uh, i'm sure people who are going to watch it uh, they would enjoy it too so that's that's the hope and wish So jumping on again to the series, uh, is there anything in particular with the episodes that the two of you are involved in that you are uh, very intrigued? There's something that's unique that you're waiting to see how the audience is going to react to, or there's anything in particular you're very excited to present to your audience? I I am very very thrilled. Uh, to be very honest, I mean, this is something for the first. I've done uh, something like this for the very first time. Uh, I've done theater before. I've done cinema before. I've done television before, but I haven't done something. It's I mean, it's like fusion. You know, there's there's fusion in music. There's fusion in literature. There's fusion in cinema, uh, and 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 theater. There's many different kinds of uh, fusion happening in theater. Also, I've seen plays where they have used uh, screens and cameras, and so this kind of. Uh, a dramatic reading uh, was my first and i had a great time i had a wonderful time doing it shooting it dressing for it interacting with uh, other actors whereas in every story there's just one actor and they but what what seema ji did is she, she made it an ensemble kind of a thing and then we all met and we all interacted we all heard each other's stories we all exchanged stories we all uh, it was it was fantastic i Uh, i remember telling seema ji that you know what we should even if uh, there is nobody paying us to do something like this for a platform i think we should just meet like this uh, at least uh, once a week or twice a week and uh, make it a forum you know just to exchange ideas meet friends i mean we've been through pandemic you know deprived of people meeting Is, you know going to theater you know listening to uh, wonderful music in in a live concert we we've been deprived of that for for two years so we should know the value of you know something like this and i do i do and and that's why i i had a i had a gala time and i hope uh, people who watch it dig get a sense of what we went through and and enjoy it as well run yes i think uh, it's a very very uh, it it really is something that is an extension of the theater into the world of of the camera and the screen which is a very fascinating marriage of both those two. and uh, it, it it was a, the process of making this was really really thoroughly enjoyable just meeting up with vinay bhai and everyone was the same place so oftentimes we would run into each other 
and you know we'd have different time slots of when we were going to work with Seema ji. So we'd sit around and you know have a cup of tea, and it was really such a, a joyous experience. The entire thing it was really it was a group of friends getting together after a long time and and creating something, making something happen, which was one of the which is one of the great joys of our profession is that we get to work with people that we love and that are close to us, our friends, and whose work we respect so much. And that's one of the great joys. That's been one of the great joys of working on this project is I just got to hang out with some amazing people. That's the great thing. Yeah. So uh, being an audience member to the both of you all, uh, Vanessa, I wanted to know, from films like, you know, Beja Fry, where you're playing a character that delivers dialogues like, aega, aega, mein kitne aega the, where you're really testing someone's like blood pressure and you're wondering if people are going to have an irritation problem after this. And then you come into a character where in Made in Heaven, you literally teach the audience to not be so soon to judge, to know someone's story entirely, to know their struggles. I wanted to know, uh, how do you pick these roles? What is this uh, choice that you make between these unique characters? They're not the main hero of every script that you are in, but they are so, they have so much more value than that. So I just want to know what's the process like when you pick, pick and select your roles? I, I don't know, I guess the, the roles pick me. Or I don't go out picking roles. I don't know who's writing what, but sometimes when the script comes and when you like something, you... You indulge and you commit to it, and you know, then then you commit to the director, and then you collaborate with the director, you know, and and so forth, and you know, so on. But uh, as as you mentioned the the films and, and the projects that you mentioned, it's you know it was it was great at at the time that it came, and some of them became very successful. So people start to associate you. You know, with the character you have played uh, once and for all, I want to clarify: I'm not the Beja Fry guy. Uh, uh, I'm not here to irritate you. I'm also not the Made <laughs> in Heaven guy. I don't have a dubious sexual orientation lifestyle. I am not living in a closet, <laughs> and uh, I I don't pry on uh, young boys to you know to satiate my fantasy. Those are the characters that I play, <laughs> and and it's very important for people to know through you, Kavya, yeah. that they were just fictional characters. We, even if we invest ourselves in fictional characters, we don't become them. And uh, we don't have to defend them also later on in the future. Because majority of the time, it seems that I'm apologizing for the Beja Fry character or, or the Chalo Dilli character or the Dasi Rania character or the Made in Heaven character. कहानियां ताकत के बारे में इससे अच्छा उदाहरण नहीं हो सकता है कि आप उनके किरदारों के तहत उनके उन घटनाओं के थ्रू आप किसी चीज का अवलोकन करते हैं किसी चीज को मतलब मूल्यांकन करते हैं तो अगर ऐसी कहानियों ने आपके ऊपर छाप छोड़ी है तो वो अच्छी बात है वो बुरी बात नहीं है और इसीलिए कहानी कहने का सुनने का आ, सुनाने का ये जो ट्रेडिशन है हमारा ये जो आ, हमारी संस्कृति है ये जो हमारा प्रोसेस है थ्रू कभी थिएटर के थ्रू ये चलते रहना चाहिए मेरा ये मानना है कोई बात चले केबीसी ऑफ अनदर काइंड इज जिस अनदर अनदर प्रोसेस अनदर अटेम्प्ट इन द सेम डायरेक्शन एंड आई सिंसली सिंसली होप दैट पीपल वॉच इट एंड लाइक इट एंड काव्या इट्स अप टू यू नाउ हाउ यू मेक इट एक्सेसिबल टू मोर एंड मोर पीपल विथ योर social media accounts and all we'll definitely try my best and vivan i want to know like similarly you know seeing you play such a serious role as someone with like great curiosity in like say sat khun maaf to one who cannot make you stop laughing and has your heart in like happy new year your selection of roles is so versatile like i mean you do come from a family of like you know great actors so did you have a plan like did you have a plan that you know in my <laughs> film journey i am going to do this set of roles and these kinds of movies no no as as vinay bhai uh, rightly put it the, the role chooses you you don't choose the role 
uh, and uh, one does whatever work comes one's way and and one is always grateful for whatever work even so great you know like uh, of course in every actor's filmography there's a lot of things that they are not very proud of but one does still respect the fact that their work and that somebody thought of them for that role and you know no matter how the turned out if it wasn't a very successful film or a good film and that sort of thing but uh, but but i have been very fortunate that i got to work on the lovely films that and some other great stuff also and uh, and and also the thing is that well i probably uh, for a, for a long time uh, people they i did not i guess because i looked very sort of childlike and i looked very childlike for a long time i would not get very interesting roles i guess all the auditions that i would get were not for the kind of characters that i was interested in playing but uh, so but that's something that's part of life one has to reconcile that and uh, and it's also that, that that's also the thing is that um, because i look very childlike uh, people would not consider me for roles so that's a very uh, that's something that you have to just deal with and that's a part of life hopefully that will change as i grow older and uh, and but i've been fortunate to have done the work that i've done i've just been really fortunate to to be working you know that's the most important thing and as far as planning a uh, uh, of course no one can do that you know that wo to that nahi hai as they say and uh, but but I've, i i really had a great time essaying the characters that i did and uh, in special i really enjoy playing bombaya characters because i've grown up speaking that lingo the bombaya jo bhasha hai jo dialect hai mujhe wo karne mein bahut maza aata hai so i really enjoy whenever i get a chance to play a character that's a bombaya character like a slightly tapuri kind of jo dialect mein baat karta hai mujhe bahut maza aata hai in those kinds of characters So you know, right now, like today, if the world broke to the news that you know RRR finally won an award at the Golden Globes, the song won an award at the Golden Globes, and it was so exciting to see that representation out there on such a global, like international platform that is viewed by so many, and it was great fun to see that a film which was just not expected to make. the charts that it did reaching such platforms i wanted to know is there any plans in the future for the two of you that you all have to uh, come up with any projects that you're expecting to make international like records or any international like accommodation or any upcoming yeah i'm i'm share? thinking of i'm thinking of learning how to by next year oscars i should have a song out ki matlab I hope so, yeah. I really, really hope so. Vibhan Sir, you, 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 what are your plans? Tell me. In the next year's Oscar, we will be going to the Oscars. 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 No, I mean that. That should to... go to Oscars. <laughs> no, that any project because you see, as a fan, I sure, think we are fine I... with any film of like series that is more coming up from you guys. So honestly, Kavya, I think, I think, I think KBC, this our version of KBC, which is called Koi Baat Chale. Yeah, okay, people can argue uh, this is not KBC, but uh, let me tell you, our is also KBC. So our KBC, I think, has the potential. to go to emmys what do you think <laughs> absolutely aap kya lagta hai aap usko dekh dekhiye ye bahut kamaal ki cheez hai but uh, oh. only thing is uh, we'll have to get uh, charles dickens to write the subtitles oh, that was a bad joke <laughs> wow. what, what, we have to get premchand's equal we need to get the equal like who's a heavyweight in premchand's category to write the subtitle to translate premchand into english right so you need like a dickens or a tolstoy a tolstoy is russian in, sorry but you need a stalwart of english literature even jitne log ka naam le rahe hain in sab ka dhyan thak chuka hai bhai aap kisi jeevit kalakar ke bare mein kuch aisa keh sakte hain jinko hum lekin bina unki anumati ke hum unka naam bhi to nahi le sakte na aajkal ke zamane mein kavya ji samajh rahe hain aap Yes, sir. Well, thank okay. you so much for answering my questions today, thank and I'm you. so excited Abhiya, to see. Wonderful talking to you.
thank you so much i'm so excited to see this series and honestly whether it makes the oscar or not it's definitely making my wish list and as you true fan i think that's a great oh. accomplishment so thank you so very much well if you if you see it and if you like it that is our oscar let me say yes, thank you so much thank you so very much thank you kavya take care